I've been watching a lot of Daniel Dalen. And give it 100% of my favorite. We're just gonna do nothing else. And um, kids got me inspired. So I have decided directly influenced by this man and a couple other YouTubers to just start recording stuff. Something that I've been pondering recently that came from the Daniel Dalen video was just every time you uh, set up and start working and don't hit record, it's a shot you're not taking. You know, so I'm like, why not? Why don't I take that shot? That's the whole thing. So I could take a swing every day. It's gonna be a weekly series. I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Common ideas. I'll, I'll take some ideas. But yeah, this week's projects, we got testing a camera at some point too, which I'm really excited about. Audio sync. working on some designs for the brand built to destroy built to destroy is like my little baby it's pretty much any cycling gear that i would actually need built all into one thing built to be used and abused and just ran into the ground you know but i want to actually try and focus on making some quality products so long time ago and this is probably because a main story uh the next episode will be obviously on quentin tarantino and what's remarkable about reading this book is you know there's all these ideas that tarantino is finding in like the 1970s that he doesn't use until like the early 2000s and i finished this book and i think of this this idea i learned about seven or probably seven years ago uh when i read danny meyer danny meyer's uh, famous new york restaurateur and the founder of shake shack and in Danny's autobiography, he's constantly coming up with like new ideas that no other restaurants have used before. And he has this idea where he would prompt himself with five words because people would say, oh, you can't do that. Like, you know, a restaurant's done that before. And so he would say, whoever wrote the rule, and then he would just say, like, whoever wrote the rule, for example, that you can't make a high quality hot dog cart. That it was actually the very first version of what would come into Shake Shack. Shake Shack is now, you know, a four and a half billion dollar company today and started off as a hot dog cart in a park in New York City. And so I realized by refusing to even attempt to do a podcast on this book that I was making up just fake rules. Like whoever wrote the rule that the book has to be, you know, 300 pages for me or 100 pages or whatever it is for me to do an episode on. So I'm going to jump into this book. I'm chopping up some, some ginger. Uh, I've been using it as like a pre-workout in the last couple months. Kind of love it, you know? I don't know, just for me. When I take ginger before a workout, uh, it just, I don't know, something about it wakes me up and, ooh, fuck, okay. And yeah, ginger, got coffee, fair warning, it tastes like an ass, but. Thank <laughs> you. 
I take the path of least resistance. I work in uh, that building over there as so. well. Salam. <laughs> in desperate need of coffee, dear fucking lord. I think they might have lied. I think they might have lied.